How can a controversial but popular animated TV series help you become a better storyteller? Well, the answer to that question is coming up after this quick break. Recently, I've been reading a terrific book about storytelling. It's called Houston, We Have a Narrative. It's written by Randy Olson. He's a retired scientist turned Hollywood screenwriter. In this great book, Randy talks about a story editing technique that's been used for two decades by the creators of the animated series South Park, Matt Stone and Trey Parker. When I read this, it, it immediately jumped out at me. I thought this is a terrific way to improve the quality or the emotional impact of your talk. In this video, I'll give you a quick overview of a common problem with storytelling. And then in the next two videos, you'll hear all about the solution. That's right, I want you to tune back in. Here's an overview, and I, I mentioned this in my last video actually when I talked about the great screenwriting uh, coach, Robert McKee. Most people are not sharing stories today more than they are narrative. And this is the problem that Stone and Parker talk about. Most stories, when they're first written, are really narratives, which are a series of and events. I did this, and I did this, and I did this. And what you're creating there is a series of facts. It sets up what could be a good story. I call it the AAA method. It's and, 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 and. Actually, there are many more ands in most stories that I hear. Well, as you're crafting the first version of what will be a good story, you're going to have that. You're going to have a series of facts, but there is a specific tool that you can use, actually two, that Stone and Parker use when they're going through the scripts for their South Park episodes. The best storytellers use a similar process. It will turn those ands, some of them, into key turning points, which will generate the emotion that you need your audience to feel if they're going to stay with you to the end of your story. Ultimately, you want the, the audience to do something. You want them to take action. You want them to feel differently or, or just look at the world in a different way. But until you understand where the, the key turning points are, you're going to be stuck in what I would call and land. <laughs> For this tip today, just understand that a common problem is the connecting word and. It just builds a series of facts and that's not truly a story. Tune in for the next video in just a couple of days and you'll hear the first step of the solution to this problem.